everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because sharing Ivory and Spice is caring. Woo! And today guys, it's Manchester City new Manchester United 2 Jeez. Manchester United Manchester is red Woo. Manchester United got 3 points against the noisy neighbours at the empty had you scums I am so pleased because at the end of the day I thought we was going to get sex stop differently GBH sexual harassment I thought I was going to call the police and say Manchester Metropolitan Police um I've just saw GBH activity going on a crime right there and also sexual harassment on Manchester United today but not today we won I'm happy we're happy you're happy what a beautiful Sunday it has been for us today guys Woo! yes and let's go straight into that game guys that first minute Manchester United getting a penalty and now guys I'm not going to lie to you let me let me be honest with you you know when we can see that penalty I wasn't watching the game for the first few minutes. I was looking down. As soon as I looked up, I saw Jesus on the floor and I saw a penalty. And I was thinking, oh, God damn, we've conceded a penalty. And get and a few minutes, I was like, what? What? It's for us. Raw fam. Guys, I thought we conceded a penalty when I wasn't looking. Look at me. I, I'm an enemy of Manchester United's progress. You know? They're me. They're thinking, look at you, Manchester United. Already conceding the penalty within one minute. And look at me thinking that Manchester United are not good enough. This is the level I think of Manchester United. I wasn't even watching. And I thought it was a penalty and I thought we conceded. But nevertheless, our guy Bruno Fernandes comes out of nowhere with that goal with a penalty. Of course, his customary penalty. You know when Bruno Fernandes scores, he needs a penalty to get his confidence up. But yes, he scored. Manchester United going 1-0 up. Set the mood for us. I was loving it for now. And I thought... Hmm, the first 10 15 minutes, hmm, we're looking good. But for how long can that last? And then in 30 minutes, back to the reality, Manchester United not being able to do nothing with the ball, of course, giving it a bit of a huff or puff, trying to penetrate against Man City. With Man City, of course, keeping the ball, tippy tapa, yes, yes, yadi yadi. Oh, boring football today for them again. As you know, with Manchester City, especially in this game, it was dead, fam. And I was happy that not whatever they tried to do never worked. One nil half time. Me thinking Manchester United could have done way more with the ball, guys. And I was quite pleased with the first half for what we did for the first 10 15 minutes. Apart from that, the rest, you know what it is. Couldn't keep the ball. Let's see. Lucas Shaw. Luke Skywalker, the force is with you, my brother. The force has been with this guy for a very long time. And he was excelling today, especially in the left back. He was up and down, causing problems. Bombing down, forward. Oh, Lucas Shaw, Luke Skywalker. You are so sure these days, my brother. I'm so pleased for Luke Shaw. Scoring the second goal, 1-2 with Marcus Rashford. And then slotting it in. Making it 2-0 for Manchester United in the first couple of minutes of that second half. Again, starting the way we started in the first half, in the first couple of minutes. We've done the same thing. And Man City never saw it coming, guys. And man, them guys, I'm going to be very honest with you. In the later state of that second half, the counter-attack. Oli said that his style is counter-attacking football, individual brilliance, and moments. And I've got to say, for one of them, counter-attacking football... We are shit at counter-attacking football. We are not the best. And he's shit at coaching these guys at counter-attacking football. Because so many chances, so many opportunities with the right pass. Boy, oh boy, we just did the wrong thing. And if that's on him again, we're shit. We're shit at whatever we're trying to do. We're the worst at it. And I don't like what I don't like. Full-time, Manchester United winning 2-0. Manchester United breaking Manchester City's 21-game win runs. Thank you. You deserve that. If it had to be somebody, why would it not be us? Why should it not? And we did it today. Manchester United holics, my Manchester United fans. Overall, I thought that we was we did well in certain moments. Of course, we are moments FC, highlight FC. You'll be better off watching the highlights for this game because majority of the times it was Man City with the ball. And if you wanted to see the best of us, 
highlights would be the best way to see the best of us and think for yourself that oh we played well today but we didn't at times we did not man of the match has to be luke shaw for me today my man in the match luke shaw the force is always with him he has been sure for a very long time bombing forward today just aggressively getting involved with the play so at times you know i know you were bursting down and didn't know who to pass to but that's not your fault bro you just got a coach that doesn't know how to teach you how to get forward and make the right passes especially when we're counter-attacking as well so it's not your fault luke shaw the luke skywalker it ain't your fault because the force is with you my brother don't care if the match has to go to bruno fernandez despite the fact that he scored i don't care overall he was shit shit rav giving the ball away making the wrong decision when we were breaking the wrong passes and he know it himself i saw him i saw him you saw him Damn, man i should have done better exactly he should have done better in many situations Bruno Fernandes, don't tip the match. You cannot get at me. Do not get at me, guys. Manchester United fans, enjoy it. It's a Sunday. It's a good Sunday. It's been blessed. It's been the best Sunday of the longest time for us because last Sunday was shit. But yes, enjoy it, guys, because you can go into work Monday morning and tell those Manchester Shete fans, yeah, that Manchete is full of shit and Manchester is red, yeah, because scums, those Shete fans, where wherever they are because i don't see them just like their stadium empty had i don't see them in london i don't see them in manchester we don't see them anywhere where do they hide bro they, oh, what do you are you guys turtles you're just just hiding your shells as fans and like i don't see you guys unless you win the premier league that's when we see you guys but yes united fans do let me know who your donkey of the match was and who your man, man of the match was and do let me know what you thought of the match overall especially this match the derby especially his curtain performances as well let me know as well guys and of course guys remember to follow the official instagram account of red united tv which is red united tv one baby and the official tiktok account which is red united tv and remember to follow my of course personal instagram account which is avorin underscore spice across the rock same across twitter and also snapchat and as always remember to subscribe smash that like button guys remember to share because sharing ivory spice is caring remember ladies remember to share this link to your man your ex as well and let them know that you found someone that does it way better than them with that link as always guys remember to keep it united because manchester united is red right now and as always remember to keep it red united peace out i'm out